they call these smartphones, but they actually lowered the intelligence level of the world by about 20 points. It's the most useless thing that I ever saw. It's created a generation of people who sit around staring at their crotches. And worse than that, they can't spell. But we're here to talk about using one for YouTube videos. Now, the camera on here is, the best I can describe it is mediocre. It works. Uh, but since everybody uses a phone like this, they automatically hold it vertically to take pictures or anything else. They're going to take a picture, they're going to do it this way. <clears throat> and you wind up with a picture that looks like a postage stamp on YouTube, big black bars on each side. All you have to do is simply turn it on its side and then it will make a uh, uh, format that fairly well fits. But the lens on these is very wide angle and you need to get closer. Most people will take a picture from a block away from something and all you see is specks on it. You need to move up to about as far away as You'd normally talk to somebody and speak up to where the sound on it is recorded well. The other problem there's a lot of these have in using them on YouTube is the editing programs don't work with the format that they work in. And you, you may get a good video and all that and try to put it into YouTube and YouTube just won't accept it. Uh, I think that's a bigger problem with Mac than it is with uh, those that use a Windows program. But if you're going to take a YouTube with it, the best ways, the quickest ways to ruin your YouTube is to be shooting the picture and then shout out, I got that on YouTube! Or the people involved in it are coming out with a string of four-letter words. Uh, about all I can say is they beat nothing at all. So if you have a phone, you want to make YouTubes with it, at least try to make them first horizontal and second with some level of sense to them. That's my diatribe today about smartphones.